the short-term teams to come down from the United States to Panama, it's uh, not easy for them. Um, it's hot, it's rainy, it's humid, there are a lot of bugs. It's not easy to be out in a village for a week without being able to shower, sleeping on an air mattress, but it's worth it. It's worth it when you see people's lives changed. When you go back years later and you see the same village and just see the transformation that has occurred. Until I actually went on the trip, I didn't know what all David's Well was about. And to actually go and experience it firsthand, and to talk to Juan's daughter, Yolanda, and for her to share with me um, her dad's heart and her heart about the people of Panama and to see how God is working there. All of a sudden you're thrown into this experience in another country and God somehow knits your hearts together. And I, I love the way community happens on these trips. And then when you come home, you have these new relationships with this group of people. My first impression of Panama, uh, specifically when we arrived on the island in the boat, was all of the kids sitting out there just waiting for us and their excitement and just how you can tell there was a community amongst the kids with each other and that was it was pretty neat just that welcoming feeling and how beautiful it was when i first got to panama out on the islands i kind of stopped for a minute and wondered god why am i here do you, do you have the right guy down here you know it was almost a little overwhelming they explained that you know that you're the first white guy they've seen and i'm like wow you know these uh these kids are gonna hear about christ maybe for the first time ever by me and it's amazing as you're, you're sitting there on the side of a hill on an island in Panama and you spend this time in prayer, the things that God reveals to you about your own life when you come back here. It gives them hope, I mean, outside of their circumstances to know that Jesus loves them and no matter what, that His love will always be there and that one day they will be in His kingdom. Every victory that I have in Panama, everything that God does through the ministry that I have in Panama, the person who's watching my kids in Indiana is having that same victory. I couldn't do that if they weren't here watching my kids. The person who sent the roll of crayon, the box of crayons, they're having that same victory with me right down in Panama. It's just it's an incredible thing to see how that life-giving uh, force of Jesus Christ being in their lives has transformed them. When people came and they cared about them, they demonstrated Jesus Christ through the, the heart language. Really, you just don't even have to talk much because <laughs> it's all about interacting in the community of it and just showing that love to kids. You can come and work with us to organize a group in the United States. There are so many fields of work building schools or building drinking water service. To be able to take a group of people who maybe have never really been outside of North America and to go through an experience with them of watching their eyes open up to what God is doing around the world and be a part of expanding His kingdom in that way for me is phenomenal. I can't wait to go again. May God bless all of you. God keep you and I hope you can come to Panama where we can work together and see the great unity and potential of all of us working together to lift the souls of individuals. God bless you and thank you.